Hello everyone. For those of you who know me, you know that I love OneNote and that I always take handwritten notes whenever I attend a conference or attend a meeting. Right now, I'm in San Francisco for a two-day conference by Udemy. So last week I was asked if I prefer using OneNote on an iPad Pro or using a Surface tablet. And instead of just answering straight off, I thought that I would take this opportunity to give it a try. So day one of this conference, I'm going to use OneNote, the OneNote app on the iPad with the Apple Pen. And then day two of the conference, I'm going to use Microsoft Surface Book with the Microsoft Pen. And then I'll summarize my findings and share them with you. I have the iPad Pro with a 12.9 inch screen. The device itself is lovely. It's light, it instantly turns on, so you can quickly get going with OneNote and taking your notes. The large screen makes it very comfortable to write on, just like you had a large piece of paper. The Apple Pen is thin, just like a normal pencil, and in the OneNote app, you can select between different types of pen styles and thickness of digital ink to give you the optimal writing experience. A downside is that in order for you to write with a pen, you need to have the draw tab open. So if you often switch between inserting photos or typing, you need to go back to the draw tab to write again. Also to erase, you need to select the erase tool. You can't just turn the pen and erase with the back of the pen, something that I'm used to with the Microsoft pen. Another downside with the Apple pen is that it needs to be charged. The battery lasts for a really long time, so it's nothing that you have to worry about for a couple of days conference, but it's just one more device that needs to be charged. Also, once during the day, the Bluetooth pairing on my Apple Pen to the iPad Pro disappeared, so the pen wouldn't work. I had to go back to the Bluetooth settings and pair the device, which, even though it's quick to do, it distracted me from the session I was currently in. The OneNote app on the iPad is easy to use. I love that you can easily take high quality pictures with a camera, crop them, and then insert them into your notes. The tool that I'm missing in the OneNote app is the insert space tool, which enables you to remove or add paper anywhere in your notes. So to clear up the notes, you would need to use the full version of OneNote. The Surface Book is a powerful computer that can be turned into a tablet by just detaching the screen. It comes with a digital stylus, so there's no need to pair it or connect it via Bluetooth. It just works. Since it's a full-blown computer, it also acts like one. And unfortunately, my Surface needed to install Windows updates and restart just as I was about to start taking notes, which was really annoying. Once I got up and running again, the note-taking experience using the OneNote app for Windows is very pleasant. You have a number of different pens and colors to choose from, and perhaps maybe too many pens for what you need. Uh, the pen is thicker. Personally, I prefer holding the thinner Apple Pen, uh, but I guess that's just a personal preference. A major benefit with the Microsoft Pen is that you can erase by just turning it. You don't have to worry about clicking the Draw tab to use it. It just works. You have the Insert Space tool in the OneNote app for Windows, which I use frequently when taking handwritten notes. Using the OneNote app, you can easily take pictures using the camera on your device uh, that are inserted into your notes. You can't do this using the full-blown desktop version of OneNote. There you have to insert pictures from the camera roll. The quality of the images taken with the Surface camera are not great. The iPad ones are definitely better. When it comes to note-taking, the OneNote app for Windows provides you with everything you need, and it's actually a better option since it enables you to easily insert pictures directly into your notes. However, for organizing and cleaning up your notes, I prefer the desktop version of OneNote. The major, major downside with taking notes on the Surface is the battery life. The Surface Book has two batteries, one in the screen and one in the keyboard, but when you detach the screen, you only have one battery and it doesn't last very long. So what's the verdict then? Well, I do have to say that if you want to take handwritten notes in OneNote at a conference like this or in all day meetings, then using OneNote on the Apple iPad Pro is the preferred option. It's quick to get up to speed with your notes. The camera is really good for inserting photos into your notes and the battery life. With that said, 
I wouldn't want to use OneNote app on the iPad in isolation because it doesn't give you the right tools that you need to organize and clean up your notes. But if you synchronize your notes to the OneNote application that you can have in your computer, then you have the best option. My name is Ulrike Hedlund. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of new insights. If you want to learn more, you can watch my courses on Udemy or you can go to our website, businessproductivity.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.